Hey, it's Software Student here, and today I'm going to showcase what is the expected level of a software engineering student after finishing the first year or the first two semesters. So I'm just about to finish my second semester as a software engineering student, and not this exact task, but something similar would be part of the exam regarding programming. So kind of like the programming exam where we are creating a program in Java, and we have about two hours to complete this task. So I'm just first going to demonstrate and show the program. So the program is actually quite simple. It's a program where we have a file with some data from some sprinters, runners, and we're then able to choose between quite a few different countries. And for example, let's pick China or Sweden. I can then load the data and choose if I want to sort by race number overall position or half time and when I load I can you can see I have the race numbers for these runners overall position agenda position the official time and the half time so right now they are sorted by race number I could sort by let's do half time instead and as you can see we actually have a data point that's not even completely correct here but we can change to another country let's do Ireland Half time of all position. Let's see if we can get a country with a few more data points. Germany, for example. And so on. So more or less, load some data, and then we're able to sort it. So this task is very much focused on sorting data. And what we're doing is just very simply having a comma separated value file where I have these thousands of data points where they're comma separated. It's defined at the top what each data point means. We then have a very simple class where we get the data from our sprinter and we put it into a class that's containing some specified data. So we're not using all the data, but we're using some specific amount. We then have encapsulation, private attributes, a constructor, some getter methods, a to string, and a compare to, which is used to sort data when we are using three sets or three maps and we don't have some so when we're just having normal data so just a basic sprinter object it will be sorted by race number we then also create comparator objects which allow us to sort by different metrics so for example we have our comparator using half time and a comparator using position we then have a class read comma separated files that reads our data and splits our lines on the comma and then takes the specified position for the data we need and put it inside our constructor our, on our new sprinter object to construct specified data and we then just say very simply inside a controller using JavaFX so we are taught JavaFX to create our graphical user interface with Java, where I just have this relatively simple setup. When I initialize my window, I load in my data. I then have a set of my countries loaded into my combo box. After the data is loaded, I have created some private methods, which diff checks which radio button is clicked and then sort depending on which is checked. And then we just simply turn our set of sorted sprinters into a long string using a string builder and showcase it in this text area. So that's pretty much the program and it actually seems kind of simple. It also is in this case, but it takes some time and when you're doing all of this from the ground and you need to read the case, you need to do everything. It, it's a fine interesting task, but this is kind of a level that is expected of, of ours after our first year as software engineering students. I hope you enjoyed me showcasing what is expected of a first year software engineering student. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I wish you all a wonderful day.